Welcome back to another episode of Mandy Things channel where I bring you along with whatever I'm doing and I share it with you. Today, Unloaded Starts. So, my buddy Red's Dot posted up a video the other day of him trying to get down to near one second with Unloaded Starts. Something that uh, came from the Anderson shooting. Um, and Jay Beal, who's, Jay Beal's amazing. If you haven't checked him out, look him up. Jay Beal, he's a GM, carry optics. He puts in the work and he sees it and he's phenomenal. But anyway, get back to the topic. Unloaded starts, they were getting down near under one second. Reds was doing 1.3, so he posted up to a couple of us. What can you get on an unloaded start is your best time? Um, I posted up a video on my IG story. I had a 1.7 uh, unloaded start. So I was thinking about it. Um, how people do a Burkett reload to practice reload. Why not do a Burkett style unloaded start? So that's kind of where we're coming at today about making sure we can draw the pistol and the mag at the same time and then stop and make sure that mag's about to be seated properly every time instead of hitting the front of the back, the front strap or the back strap or missing completely. So being able to get both hands there and then go for it. So I'm not going to do this with the timer today just because. It's something I came, I thought about, so let's look at it. So right here, about a simulated seven to 10 yard target, um, USPSA um, metric target. So uh, from the Ben Staker Pro Shop, be a link down in the description below for the package I got. So, so today we're just gonna focus on worrying about hands together at the same time, going for the mag and the pistol, and then stopping right here to make sure we have an insertion, you know, a proper insertion to then to get up to it. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of these uh, just to show you some video and then I'll look at my other targets about another seven yard target, estimate, you know, drive scale target so we can get a couple different angles of this, so. So I'm looking for, I'm just making sure the inside of the mag goes into that mag well to start the process. And that's really big just to visualize it and pause and stop there to then if there's anything wrong, we can always correct it. Yep, felt good. Both fast hands at the same time. Yeah. Alright, we'll do it this way. You can see this hand back. This hand back. It helps that I'm keeping it kind of low on my um, stomach here so I don't have, I'm not bringing up the gun too high or I'm not trying to do a way too low just kind of like at that perfect level. Oh, see. Grab the mag but not the gun. So I like to see. Perfect. And I'll do this for a little bit before I go on to the next step of actually then worrying about the next half which is then bring the gun inserting the gun just like a Burkett reload and then going over the top and then racking and back on target. All right guys, well there is my dry fire tip number two um, for unloaded starts, doing a Burkett style unloaded start to then make sure you're getting all the steps correctly and stopping at good points to make sure we're getting what we want instead of bum rushing through something and having bad reps because we cannot afford to have bad reps. Reps are good, but they need to be good reps. But you also, bad reps just ingrain bad habits and bad things. So just remember guys, good reps, get them. You can either do full unloaded starts or try this Burkett, reload, um, Burkett start. Um, it really helps, I think, to break it down. So remember guys, I post a new video every single week. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share it with your friend. Leave me a comment. Tell me how bad I suck, although I'm trying to get better. So just to remember until next time, get out and do the things. Thank you.